Welcome to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host Jack and this is a video tutorial of how to use Photoshop Elements. I know a lot of you out there have purchased Photoshop Elements. A lot of people have been emailing me and saying, Jack, thanks for the videos and uh, you're very welcome if you're one of those folks. I've just found that, you know, when you purchase software, the problem with software is there's so much to do with software and I don't think people get their money's worth out of it. That's why I wanted to start doing these videos. Now, if you've enjoyed these video tutorials on YouTube, stop by my website, jackstechcorner.com, and look at the wide selection of DVDs I have. These DVDs are very high resolution videos. And what does high resolution video mean? YouTube kind of takes our videos, the content that um, we as creators upload to YouTube, and they lower the resolution or sometimes they make it hard to see so if you blow it up it's kind of pixelated on your screen it's hard to see the detail the videos on the DVD you can blow them up and they look just as I recorded them so they look brilliant and they're uh, very high resolution so you can see all the detail that's what high resolution means so there's a lot of different selections on the website once again it's jackstechcorner.com also take a look at my uh, green screen wizard uh, software I have listed on there it's written by Ken if you're a green screen photography or a photographer that's great software it's something you're gonna really want to pick up and uh, I know a lot of you said Jack that's expensive but I did a lot of research and Ken's software is right in there with everybody else as it creates green screen software you may find cheaper stuff but not as easy to use as Ken's I'll give you that so that's about that. Let's uh, go on with the video tutorial. This video tutorial, I'm going to create something for you, and I've been playing around with this a, a good bit this morning here before I started to uh, sit down and really think about creating a video of it. But I showed you before how to create a signature file and how to take that file and overlay it onto a picture. Now a lot of you have emailed me and said, Jack, that's wonderful, but sometimes you want different size signatures, so you'd have to have multiple size files. Is there a way we can do it so we can adjust that size? So in playing around, I thought, there's got to be a way that we can create a brush. We're going to create a brush to actually do the signature for us. And you can have multiple brushes as signature files, and those signature files can be in different fonts if you wish. So let's go ahead and get started. Right now, I'm currently in the full editor. What you want to do is open up a blank file. So let's go to New, Blank File. And this one I'm going to call Signature 2 because in playing around, I already have Signature 1. Signature 2. The height and width is totally up to you. Just set this up um, because we're going to do some cropping here in the end, and I'm going to show you that. So signature 2, make sure your background contents is selected to white and it's RGB color. RGB color. It's very important. Resolution, I have mine set to 72. It seemed to work out okay for us, so we can leave it at that. Let's go ahead and click OK. Now you can come up with a plain white document on your screen or a white file. Uh, for lack of better terminology, that's what we describe as this is actually a file at this point. So the first thing with a good signature file is your signature. Now you can get a, a Wacom board or Wacom, however you want to pronounce it, and you can sign this you know, using a brush, and you can use your handwriting if you wish. But I choose to tend to just like to use text. So I'm going to do this, draw a text box, and you can select in here from any font you want. Matter of fact, I have one I already did, so I'm going to try to figure out a different font. And we used a font a while ago to create a signature that looked like a signature. So I'm going to kind of look down through here real quick and just kind of find something we can use. Uh, I'm not finding anything that really is fancy here. Let's see. You know, there's so many fonts in these programs, and you go looking around, and at times you kind of get lost because there's so many different ones in here. I've just seen it. I'm sorry. Uh, we could just pick out any font, I guess, but I want it to look kind of interesting. Let's just go with this one. All right. Now, once you pick out your font, 
I want you to go ahead and type in your signature. Well, you know what? Let's set this color here. Uh, we're going to set this to black. All right, we set it to black. All right. I'm going to type this in. Memories by Jack. The font size, you can raise this up or lower it, but you know the biggest thing is with brushes is you can select the brush size later. So we're just going to set it 30. I did bold it. Uh, I made this bold. Here we can see unbolded. It looked a little choppy, so what I did, I turned on the bold. Once you're done, click your checkbox. There we go. Now that's a pretty big file. If you save that, that's going to be a pretty big brush size. So what I would suggest to do is use your crop tool. Let's just crop it down. All right? We can even crop it a little more. Pull these edges in. And click the checkbox. There we go. Now, you have the little signature file ready to go. What you do now is click under Edit define brush and as you can see here my brush name is signature 2 if you look at this number underneath at first when I was doing these I thought wow is that the brush number this is the actual total pixels of the brush 244 so that's the total pixels within the brush itself click OK signature 2 now at that point we should be able to click on our brushes and up here it's going to be under default brushes because that's what the brushes were selected at. That's the group it was selected in. If, let's say, you wanted to create a brush and you wanted to put it in one of these other brush sets, all you have to do is make sure that brush set is selected. So we put this one in default brushes. And naturally, they're out of alphabetical order here. Let's reset our brushes. Okay, we reset our brushes, and you can see now it's Signature 2. It's at the bottom. That new brush is going to fall in at the bottom of whatever brushes you have selected. Right? That's where it's going to fall at. Okay. Let's close this. Now, with that done, let's go ahead back into our organizer, and let's pick out a picture that we want to sign. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick this picture that I used a while back that I actually did some editing on. Let's open that up in full edit. Okay. Now, as you can see here, we went to our brushes. We have our signature 2 brush set. And you can see how small that is. Look how small that brush is there. That's the actual signature file. You can go in here and you can adjust this up. Now you see how big it is. Lower it down. Too small. You can also put your mouse under here. You can also use your left and right bracket keys. Don't forget about those. Use the left and right bracket keys. You can slide this up. Make it a little bigger here so you can see it happening on the screen. Now, it's set to black right now, but remember with the brush, you can set it to any color you want. Then, when you want your brush and you, uh, your signature to be on a picture, just click once, and there you go. Your signature is now on that picture because it's a brush. Here, you want to make it bigger so we can see it even more. Here's another one different size. See it's a little bigger. 
Make it real big if you want. There you go. Because it's a brush. So now it works just as a brush instead of the files that we used before. You can see that it just works out very well for you. And like I said, if you want to change the color, just remember you can change the color of a brush. So by going in there, there's a black one. So there you are. That's how you create your signature file as a new brush. So there's another tutorial for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And uh, hope you was able to follow along. If not, you know, rewind it a couple times and watch it again. And if you're just watching this YouTube video, and before you email me, check out my YouTube channel. Um, and the channel is basically just like a channel on TV. All of my videos, everything I've produced is on my channel. And that's a YouTube site that hosts all the videos. There's 108 videos up right now. So go back through the archives and look for the other videos. You may be uh, trying to do something with Photoshop and not being able to figure it out. I'm sure that I have a video out there for you. And if I don't, email me your questions at jackstechcorner at gmail.com and I'll gladly help you along and be able to uh, answer your questions. Go over to uh, jackstechcorner.com. Remember, look at the DVDs. If you want Green Screen Wizard, click on the little uh, graphic there. That also helps to show out a lot. And uh, your purchasing supports me. It supports the show um, as, and it supports the website and all the tools I use to build these shows. So that's it. Take care. And remember, always keep those shutters clicking and keep the editors editing. I'll see you back here very soon. And bye for now.